Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready, ready, ready? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show where we talk about real life but we don't take life too seriously. My name is Shireen and we have my friend Regina here. We are here in our Sunday's best going to church. Just kidding. My mom would be so excited. <laughs> right after this. This has been something that we've been talking about for a while. Very relevant to both of our lives and then most people that probably watch my videos because it's just real life and I feel like everyone kind of goes to this and um, we want to talk about social comparison. I feel like at least in recent years like you see people's social media feeds yeah. and you see that it's like drowning in pictures of vacation yeah. or their kids or yeah. like their wedding or just like something that you may not be doing. Sometimes we're like, oh, if that person's on vacation or if that person's married and they're younger than me, like, what do I do? What did I do wrong? What do, how do I how do I rectify that? Yeah. And I think people oftentimes like feel really bad about themselves yeah. because they're not like everybody else. When me and Jenna were, were dating and we weren't engaged, like I definitely fed into that because I was like, I wanted to get married and I thought I was ready, but you know. It wasn't the time for it, and I was like, oh, well, you know, everyone's getting married. Like, I tried really hard to resist that because, you know, you don't, you want to be better than that. You want to be bigger than that, but it's a natural thing. Now, I catch myself when I see, like, creatives that are, like, growing, and I kind of feel like, and I know I'm not stagnant. I know I'm growing as well, but it's just, like, your mind, and I think it's just, like, a combination of probably nature, just, like, maybe how we're wired, like, how our brains oh, are wired, definitely. but I think a lot of it is nurture. What sprung that pressure? Like, what makes you think that we all have to be a certain way? You know, your parents are already grandparents. Mine yeah. are not yet. Mm -hmm. And they're just kind of like, hey. Yeah. You know? And they may get pressure from other people. Like, they mm -hmm. might get comments from other people. Yeah. So they're feeling like a type of way about it because they're like, oh, my kids aren't married. Oh, my kids are not having kids yet. Like, what's going on? Also, like, boils down to what you were saying about you're still growing. Sometimes you know you're growing, but like other people don't because it's not posted on social media right. or your mom can't like run and brag to everybody about, ooh, Shireen's growing. They're yeah. like, what? Is she taller? <laughs> like, is her belly growing? You know? Right, like, like if she ain't growing a baby, then we don't care about that. <laughs> exactly. But there are other things that, you yeah. know, we need to grow in like, in our lives and nurture ourselves before, sometimes before we can even have yeah. a kid. And you know, we have other priorities besides right. just like going on vacation because we yeah. see that somebody on our social media that we may not even like went to Hawaii. Like, yeah, I mean, so to me much. personally, like, I feel like growing like spiritually immensely for me this past year has been like huge. Yes. And like maybe people have noticed it based on my behavior and what I probably have been sharing and what I've been, and probably my energy and like my confidence and everything like that. I'm sure this was like the same in like caveman days. My girl has, gets more berries, I don't know. <laughs> Back in my parents era, yeah. like you as a woman, like you went out to find your husband yeah. and you went out to find who you were gonna have kids with. Yeah. And it's not really like that now. We do wanna like spend our lives with somebody, yeah. but you know, a lot of us are more like interested in building our careers and growing yeah. our careers and the focus being- focus has, has changed. Yes. Yeah, because like back in the day, careers for women weren't as like of a priority. Yes. Right? You were like, priority was having a family. Society has changed, but like society standards haven't changed. It's also this like pressure of putting out this like perfect image. I think that's just like people not comfortable with who they truly are. Social media is such an open thing, right? Like you're sharing so much, but people are, as I am too, like we're all kind of selective on what we share, yes. right? Because we're not yes. comfortable with sharing everything about our lives. So then obviously what is top of mind is like, the great things yeah, and like the beautiful things that we want to share with people. I think people are thinking that that's going to bring positive attention. Yes. But I think as people are sharing more like things that are maybe their flaws or things that they're working on, but it's definitely not the majority. No, like not everybody on social wants to talk about the the bad things about them. Yeah. Or, you know, right. or the things that Except other people. Because they're insecure of it. Yeah. 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 And I think us are insecure we just like don't want to admit it. I think we're it. all insecure yeah. about something. I think like the sooner that people realize that like 
all of our lives are not meant to be exactly the same yeah is when we will you know accept ourselves and right. like love ourselves without being like well, I'd be so much happier if, if I had I, this. Yes, if I yes, had this. or if I, I did this, this. I need this. I yeah. Need this. But no, you should be happy right now in this moment. And I feel like this is like a reoccurring theme for like a lot of my videos. And I think it's because like I've gone through this journey yes. in this past year or so of like accepting myself for who I am today. But that doesn't mean you're like giving up on like working at different things and yeah. wanting to be healthier and whatnot. You live your life. Focus yes. your time and energy on your life. Yes. What do you want? For me, what I've done is when I have those negative feelings, I'm trying to figure out like, is it jealousy? Or is it like really something like I shouldn't consume? Like, is this really, is this content like helping me? Is this content like making me feel good? And so then I start unfollowing people. If people don't bring you happiness when you scroll their profile, unfollow them like yeah. if their feelings are hurt then like right. are y'all really friends in real life like you can't just like shut out everybody in your life that asks about like what you do or like when are you gonna settle down you kind of know when you're going into it what yeah. that, who that person is and how they're gonna be yeah. and like they're putting these pressures of like social comparison on you because they're feeling it but you don't have to cave yeah. And it's hard. Of course it's hard. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like we all get triggered by certain things. But just like be aware of those things and just try to work on them and yeah. like not let it bother you. Because yeah. then you're giving them like giving them power over you. Yeah. Right. And you shouldn't, you know, but like one of my favorite phrases that I always try to tell people when they feel like they're not doing enough mm -hmm. is I'm just like comparison is the thief of joy. Yeah. Like we like how boring would life be if we all of us like name follow the same like milestones in our lives at the same time. I think that we're all meant to be different and to have different things happen different in our lives at different times. Yeah. So that we could share it with each other. I don't necessarily mean like sharing it on social media. I mean just like physically. sharing it like having a conversation. Yeah or physically or, being a part of the moment yes, and experience yeah, it. And yeah. Just, like, spending so much time on social media is just like not filling my soul. Like I have a timer on my on my social my Instagram that tells me when I like hit an hour for the day and I'm like I'm done today. We're, we're all born different mm -hmm. and you know like whose timeline are you on yeah. as far as like where you think you're supposed to be like yeah. versus where you actually are who's telling you this besides facebook and you know like maybe maybe a family member sh throwing shade but really who cares like the only person that's in your shoes every day is you right so you're the one that has to yeah. do this life yes this is your life yeah. you can have goals you can have like things you want to like you know, have happen in your life by a certain day, but like, get, cut yourself some slack. Yeah. It doesn't happen, there's obviously a reason why it didn't happen, and just like trust that like it's going to happen when it's supposed to happen. As long as you're like putting in the work and like, you know, putting yourself out there and in that whatever situation you're trying to accomplish, like, you're doing your part. That's all you can do. Nothing in life is perfect. Nope. Things are not always as they seem. Nope. Things are not always the way that somebody else says they're supposed to be. Nope. nope. Live your life yeah. the best that you can. Yeah. Uh, and take it day by day. Yeah. Don't set this timer. Like, yeah. there Because there is a difference between having goals and just being completely unrealistic. Yeah. And, and being present. Yes. Yeah. Like, yes. And I, I've been like, when I, this morning I worked out and I was like, the sun's out. It's so beautiful. I'm outside, I'm downtown, I'm so happy. It seems so silly. Take a moment, like right now, I'm with my friend. I'm putting content out that I enjoy, like I'm proud of what I'm doing. Think about where you at are right this second and like how much you can be grateful for. Only get this one life, live your life. Go, go read a book. Yeah, go read a book. Like, go, go, park. go for a walk. Ooh, go to the lake and go for a walk. Like, whatever you have to do yeah. to get yourself out of that mindset that you're supposed to be doing whatever he, she, and him and her, whatever they're doing, that doesn't have anything to do with you. Obviously, like community and people around you, they're probably coming from a place of love and like a, pl a place of good intention. You know, you can't control what they say, you can't control how they feel. All you can do is control, control yourself and you can like 
communicate how they're making you feel and then you can communicate what they could maybe improve on, but that's all you can do. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you finally coming. Uh, I know, it took me a minute. Y'all can come through. Come through, have a conversation, be my best friend.